let's look at this language, which is 3TM. And what is this language? It has a bunch of Turing machine descriptions in it. And the criteria for this Turing machine to be in 3TM is if the size of its language, i.e. the number of strings that the Turing machine accepts, is at most three. So if the Turing machine accepts four strings or more, then it's not in 3TM. And if it accepts at most three strings, it is in 3TM. So what we want to show here is that 3TM is undecidable, which means that there's no algorithm to decide whether or not a given Turing machine is in 3TM or not. So the first thing that you should always ask yourself when you're faced with an undecidable problem that you need to show is, can we apply Rice's theorem? So we just recently did a video about Rice's theorem, and it gives us a really uh, necessary and sufficient condition for some languages to be undecidable, which is a lot easier to prove than doing it directly. What you would usually do here is a reduction from a known undecidable problem like ATM or three or the emptiness problem for Turing machines or something. Can we apply Rice's theorem? Well, the two things we should always show is that it is indeed a property of Turing machine languages. So is it in this case? Well, if we have two Turing machines with the exact same language, can it be the case for 3TM that M1 is in 3TM and M2 is not in 3TM? Well, let's think about it. Well, if they have the same language, well, then they have the same number of strings in the language. So that implies that either both M1 and M2 are in 3TM. Either they both have at least four strings, or M1 and M2 are not in 3TM, because if they are the same language, then they either both have at most three strings or at least four strings. So what we conclude from this is that this is indeed a property of Turing machine languages. Now, the other thing that students sometimes forget is, is this a non-trivial property? So is this property, if I can spell it, non-trivial? So that means, is there a Turing machine inside 3TM? And is there a Turing machine that's outside 3TM? Well, can we find a Turing machine that accepts more than three strings, so at least four strings. Well, a really easy example is the Turing machine accepts everything. So let's let M1 be a Turing machine that accepts everything. So every single string it accepts. Well, then this implies that M1 is not in 3TM. Because, well, if it accepts everything, well, it accepts more than three strings, which therefore is not in 3TM. Well, can we find an example of a machine that is in 3TM? So it accepts at most three strings. Well, what we can do here is let M2 be a Turing machine that rejects everything. Just says, no, I don't accept it. Well, that implies that M2 is in 3TM because it accepts zero strings, which as far as I can tell is at most three. So we can conclude from this that this property is non-trivial. So the most important part right here by Rice's theorem, it's a non-trivial property of Turing machine languages which means that 3TM is in fact undecidable. So whenever you're faced with a question like this, always check, is it a property of Turing machine languages and is it non-trivial? If both of them are true, then apply Rice's theorem. It's way easier. If it 
fails one of the two, then you'll have to use a different technique. But if it is both of them, then apply it. So I hope that was interesting. Leave a comment below um, it, uh, with any other questions that you may have. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I've created a Patreon if you feel like you want to support this channel. And as always, I'll see you next time.